In this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to most efficiently create and size your images for use as a sprite in GDevelop. So let's say you want to create a new object. I'm going to create a sprite. I'm going to call it Mushroom 1 because I'm going to bring in an image of a mushroom. And it's just going to be one image. So you're going to see when I drag this on here, it's really big. Now if you want it this big, you're good to go. But for my game, I would want this to be 64 pixels square. Right now this one is 256 pixels square. Let me show you. If I go into this, go into Piscal, and check its sizing, it's 256 by 256 pixels. I'm going to cancel that. Now because this is too big, I could resize it right here. I could put in 64 by 64 pixels and use a custom size, which works great as long as there's just one. But next time I drag this in, it's still giant. So I'd have to resize that one. And then if I drag in another one, I'll have to resize that one. And there are actions you can use to resize your sprites or images during the game, but they don't take effect in the editor. So I would have these giant mushrooms in here when I don't want them to be that big. So what you really want to do, let me delete these and make a new object, a new sprite. I'm going to call it Mushroom 2. Import an image for that. And this image I'm importing is already 64 by 64 pixels. So when I drag it on my stage or my scene, it's the exact size I need. I don't have to make any edits or changes anywhere. I can drag a hundred of these in on a hundred different scenes if I wanted to, and they're all going to be sized correctly. So the tip really is, is to create your source graphics at the size you need them to be in your game. Don't make them bigger. Don't make them smaller. Make them the exact size you need. Now, if you do bring something in at the wrong size or just can't resize something, maybe you don't have another painting or drawing program to resize it in, you can use Piscal to do that. I'm going to go back to that first mushroom that was 256 pixels. I can edit with Piscal. Come here to the resize option and change this 256. Let's say, let's make this one 32 so we can see a difference and make it 32 by 32 pixels. Click resize, click save, apply that. And now mushroom one is actually 32 by 32 pixels. So you can use Piscal to resize your sprites if you need to. That's it for this quick tip. I'll see you in the next one.